A new report card shows the major impact the COVID pandemics had on our kids at school. And math scores dropped in every state, including here in Massachusetts, where it plummeted to the lowest scores that we've seen in two decades. As WBZ's Louisa Muller reports, educators and parents are now really scrambling to get kids back up to speed. We were literally bringing children from each of our sites and setting them up in here. It wasn't that long ago when children sat in front of laptops inside the old Colony Y in Brockton, a vacant room and a round track, their temporary classrooms, as school was shut down due to COVID. Y employee Amanda Trask remembers the overnight pivot. Really adjust to make sure that students had access to Wi-Fi, they had access to the resources they needed for school. The Y did their best, but a new nationwide report card is showing the catastrophic impact of the pandemic on learning. Called the National Assessment of Educational Progress, or NAEP, tests were administered to a representative sample of fourth and eighth grade students. This map shows how fourth grade math scores dropped across the country, and Massachusetts students experienced their worst scores in 19 years. Math scores at their lowest since 2003 for fourth grade, the year 2000 for eighth graders, reading scores at their lowest level since 1998 for both grades. You need that person sitting next to you. You need that teacher. The scores are not surprising for Jonathan Vincent, the education director at tutoring organization School on Wheels, which helps kids coping with homelessness. There were also dramatic score drops among black and Latino students, low-income students, and English learners. Vincent says tutoring is a way to close the gap. Really, it's the once, a, once or twice a week, one-on-one -on -one time that they get with their tutors. That is so critical. Things such as, you know, high dose tutoring, um, acceleration academies, which, which typically operate in the summertime and during vacations. State Representative Alice Peisch says there are strategies to help kids, funded by the federal government and the state's Student Opportunity Act, which provides $2 billion a year to public schools. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.